We're back with Ram Levy and his Cyber Corner. This week, he's going to tell us about shadow brokers. Ram, welcome. Hi, Barbara. Well, simply put, we don't know who the shadow brokers are, but here's the story. In August 2016, a group called Shadow Brokers hacked another group called the Equation Group mm -hmm. and stole very sophisticated hacking tools. Now, it is likely that we, most people believe that the Equation Group is the tailored access operation group of the NSA, mm -hmm. and the Shadow Brokers are probably a Russian group that stole their tools that were somewhere on the internet. Now, this has caused three things. First, a very a hit to the NSA's morale because someone took their tools. The other thing that it caused is that now those tools are publicly available and other, other, other organizations like, uh, like, like, like criminals organizations, they can now use those very sophisticated tools and hack other companies. And three, a very interesting debate of what is the role of the federal government in disclosing vulnerabilities, or more specifically, zero-day vulnerabilities. Now, what are zero-day vulnerabilities? Mm -hmm. Those are vulnerabilities or a way to hack softwares or hardware or operating systems that the vendors themselves do not know about. All right. Now, uh, the federal government is researching uh, for uh, zero-day vulnerabilities all the time because it gives them the access to the operating system. Now, once they find a vulnerability, there, there's a question. There, there's a tension between the need for more intelligence and the need for the general public or the vendors to know that their software cannot be hacked right. and someone can penetrate it. Mm -hmm. So for that, the White House has, have introduced the vulnerability equities process. That's, that's a charter. It's an agreement between the federal agencies on how the dialogue between them should be on newly found or newly found vulnerabilities and mm -hmm. the way to disclose it to the vendors. Is this charter going to make any uh, difference? Well, first of all, it will create more transparency. Uh, the general public and the vendors will know what is the process of discovering vulnerabilities. It will create, um, uh, they will create reports and everybody will be fairly represented so they, they could, they could, they could uh, put their voice down and at least express their concerns or, and, and their needs to disclose or not disclose vulnerabilities. Hmm. It will create accountability. For example, now the NSA, if the NSA has found new tools and those tools were stolen by the Russians, for example, right. now they'll be accountable for it. And last but not least, it will create a dialogue. And dialogue is good because dialogue creates a situation where we evolve over time. But this is a dialogue among ourselves. What about uh, reaching out and trying to uh, get this under control with the Russians and the Chinese? Well, that's a good question. Uh, the Chinese and the Russians and the Americans are discussing it. But of course, there is a tension between, between the Americans or the West and, and, and the Russians and the Chinese regarding the capabilities and the tools that they have. And I'm assuming that there should be some kind of a dialogue. But first, let's create a dialogue in, right. in, in between us before we create a dialogue with the Russians and the Chinese.